Now that we've solved for, or we've verified this equation here, or we've verified this calculation all the way out to the percent error, we want to do the same thing, but we're going to do it at 20 degrees. So this is our prediction, and then we'll verify our prediction. So let's just go ahead and say this is equal to that initial velocity. The initial velocity doesn't change, okay? And our angle in degrees will be uh, 20, okay? And then our angle in radians is just a calculation. So I can just pull this fill handle down. And A can be pulled down, okay? B is just a calculation. So how about this? How about I just start off? We know that this is a calculation and it's based in a, on a different page. We have our angle. This is something that we actually will need to put in. So let's just call it, let's just make this one green. And then we have our angle in radians. This is a calculation. So I'm going to make that red so as to uh, indicate don't touch A, B, and C. Uh, you don't necessarily have to touch those as well. So I'll make those red. Okay, and then the time of flight and the predicted range, they are as well red. So the measured range is something that we actually have to measure. We actually have to get that information, so I'll just make that green. And then the percent error is, again, it's red because it's just a calculation. In other words, don't touch it. So I'm just going to go ahead and once you put the calculation in, We'll go ahead and um, put borders all the way around this so it'll be a little bit clearer. And now we are going to just proceed forward. And you'll see that I can fill this one and pull it down. It's doing the calculations for us immediately. Fill, pull that down. So C is actually not a calculation. C is actually a measurement. So we need to go and get C. So this value, let's just guess it right now, but we'll go and get it in a moment, okay? In fact, yep, let's go ahead and guess it right now. Let's say that it's point, I know that it's around point twelve five. And so, but we need to get that information from an actual video. And then we have these two here, and we just pull those down. And so we have everything, and we don't know our measured range. That's going to come from what we're going to do next. And then we're going to have our percent error. Okay? So let's go ahead and find this information by going to video physics. And before we even go to video physics, let's go, let me see if I have Microsoft, I mean not Microsoft, but uh, Safari open. Under Safari, if you go to the Virginia Beach website, which this is where this is, this, this experiment is, you're going to find um, this particular uh, video right here. So we're going to verify this prediction with this experiment. Now what we're going to get is we're going to get our displacements in the x direction and in the y direction. So we need those two. Okay? So you have to pull that down. All of these videos are going to be replaced, so don't worry about that. I'll have a few more instructions in here so it won't quite look like this. So let's go back to video physics. Pull that down. Um, I'm going to pull this video into uh, video physics. I've already labeled it predicting the range at 20 degrees. So it corresponds to that particular assignment, but we need this video to verify. Um, a more appropriate um, name would be the verification video. So basically, if I played this, you'll see that balls are being fired, and this is what you should see. And I start off, and I have like a, maybe about four shots or so um, there. And so what I did with those shots, I actually 
took this information over to Microsoft, well, over to Graphical first and then Microsoft Excel. So you go ahead and do all 10 shots, but I'm going to stop this video right now. Make sure you upload this video with points. So you should have 10 points on here. I mean, 20 points, one at the beginning, one at the end. Make sure you upload it to Dropbox and then save it to uh, once you upload it to Dropbox and you're done with the assignment, upload both the video and the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. We're going to take data. We're going to take our data file. And we want to take this data file over to Graphical. So once we take this data file over to Graphical and we put it in terms of uh, a table, we can then share it with Microsoft Excel. OK. Now, my computer just crashed, but I'll come back uh, with, that sharing, with that shared document.